Hello, it is day one of LA Comic Con. We are here at the LA Convention Center. This is my last event of the year, which is really exciting. I need a break. Um, per usual, I think I've been doing back-to-back -back events, basically, like ever since I came back from vacation, went straight to XGB, went to New York, kind of a work trip, technically, and then I worked SJ Made, and now I'm here at LA Comic Con. It's currently 3.36, and I think we got here around 12 or 1 or so, and we just finished setting up maybe like 30 minutes ago. I feel like with my setup, because this is an eight foot base setup, it is gonna take longer because I'm pretty much maxing out the height limit. I don't know if there's a real height limit. They said that six feet is a height limit, but there's several tables that are much taller than six feet. I don't know if they're going to enforce that, but it, it's a hefty setup. And I do like how they basically divided the tables because last year they only divided it by tape. They did put dividers in between each table and this time they did add some signage to certain tables however there's still some confusion and miscommunication with other artists and i think some of them did get moved around without prior notice luckily that didn't really happen to us but i know it was an issue for other people this is a three-day event i think today it started around 3 or 3 30 or 4 or so until 9 p.m and then tomorrow it's from 9 to 7. Sunday is from 9 to 5. This is a full table display, so this is an 8 by 2 table. I did put the Eda bags up there so you can easily see it from afar. Bear bag, wallet, keychains, phone grips, lanyards. Again, I don't have the Demon Slayer lanyards. I need to add the Sunny Magnet, some business cards. I did add the sign even though it's not necessary, but I know as an attendee it is usually a bit annoying when you don't know where you are and you're looking for a specific table so holiday cards this is going to be my last event with a holiday card so again just trying to sell that out venmo catalog is up there i do have the mirror um same thing they do get a free sticker if they take a photo with the mirror and then post it at least on instagram it could be on stories or whatnot these are the free stickers available i did have the stickers up here enamel pins and then the crewnecks. Unfortunately, I did forget to bring the brown crewnecks. However, I'm just going to bring them tomorrow because I accidentally brought more of the green. This is a free bag with purchase. If they order something that has $50 minimum purchase, they do get a free bag. And then this is my 10 by 1 sign, but I just folded it to fit this layout. And this is everything. It is 6.10, so a little less than three hours until this event ends. It does end at 9 p.m. So I think today is kind of like a half day in a way. It is pretty slow, which I expected because this is a three-day event and I feel like most people do go all three days. I don't think I've seen anyone with a one-day badge for today because it is a work day. It's Friday. Even now, um, I feel like most people have just been walking around just to see what they can purchase and probably think about it and then purchase tomorrow or Sunday which is why a lot of people have also been picking up business cards. So again, low expectations, at least for today and this event in general. If you're familiar with Comic Cons, it is more Western oriented. And as you know, my stuff is mostly anime and kawaii specific. So there is a little bit of intersection. However, it isn't the main interest for a lot of the attendees here compared to Anime Expo, for example, which is in the same venue as LA Comic Con. So at LA Comic Con, I am participating in a stamp rally with these wonderful artists. So this is the stamp portion of the card and the back has the instructions as well as who's participating. And because it is December, we did decide to go with a holiday slash Christmas themed stamp rally. So mine is Sanji and hers is Ace. Zoro, and then Chopper and Luffy. Super also, thank you to everyone who stopped by. I really do appreciate when you say hi or that you're getting help from the videos that I make. I feel like sometimes I don't really notice that, especially when I just upload a video, but seeing y'all in person, really appreciate it, thank you. But we'll see how this weekend goes. Again, low expectations because my stuff doesn't necessarily align with the interest of this audience, but we'll see, I could be pleasantly surprised. Hello, it is 8.43 in the morning and I think this con ends, it starts at 9. Looking at yesterday's numbers, it was okay. I did cover the table fee and probably parking and food, but other than that, at least everything from now on is going to be in the positives, but I'm pretty sure for most comic conventions, usually there's like a preview night or preview day 
and I feel like Friday was that day because there really wasn't that many people. There was some traffic, however, it, they mostly came during later in the day and we did get a little bit of a rush before it ended around 9. I mean, we'll see how today goes. There was a crowd outside this morning, but I feel like most of them tend to rush into exhibitors or maybe are lining up for panels and whatnot. But I feel like even this early in the morning, assuming that I think 9 a.m. is for VIP and not necessarily general attendees, there's still not a lot of people at their tables yet. I think most of them will just show up as soon as it starts. They took out the dividers. We used to have this right here and now they're gone and they just took it out on every single Aristali place. Not fun. Hello, it is 1.12 and it's been several hours since this event started. I think it technically started or at least it opened to the general public around 10. Again, it's still relatively slow. We are around the number of transactions that we did last last year yesterday so we did give out a few of the shopping bags and as you may know you do get a free shopping bag if you purchase or if your purchase is fifty dollars or more i think which is fair i feel like a lot of people are still looking around since they're not sure what they want yeah. to get but also because it is saturday this is when a majority of the bigger name panels and the meet and greets and autographs are happening so perhaps most people will be coming by much later in the day or possibly doing their shopping tomorrow. But I feel like comparing to last year, it's definitely a lot slower. I think we're in a recession, I'm not really sure. And then I know there are some layoffs with other companies, so I think not everyone's gonna have a lot of disposable income. I'm doing something a little bit different in displaying my stamp rally. So last time I had a stamp rally, it was for Chibi and I just had the stamp rally so they know which stamp they could get from this booth and then the sticker sheet, however, I wasn't able to display the instructions, so I feel like having this up will help people, especially if they don't want me to explain something or if they're curious about how they can get a stamp, they're already here, so everything is mostly self-explanatory for the most part. Hello, it is 5.39 now and oh yeah, it ends at 7, so I think about an hour and a half until this event ends. It was pretty slow in the beginning and I think it's because a lot of people were attending panels or going to guest meet and greets and autographs. So obviously that doesn't leave time for them to be wandering around Exhibitor Hall. I feel like a lot of people did start coming in probably after lunchtime. There were a few times where there was a little bit of a rush, but it wouldn't last too long. When I would look at the numbers, it honestly is okay. I think for a con this big, I would expect these numbers, especially for someone, again, I repeat this every time, but my stuff is more anime oriented. While this is a Western pop culture show with the assumption that most likely they might be into some anime pop culture and shows and whatnot. So I think I am decently happy with my numbers. It's just that for me personally, as I've mentioned in past videos, I am trying to cut down the number of shows and events that I do because I do find myself burning out. And while I do appreciate the amount of income that is coming in with those shows, I do need to cut down on the ones that might not be my best ones because then I can just use that time to catch up on orders or work on new products, which I'm not able to do when I'm at an event. This is how the back of the table looks. So I did put some of the sweaters here for easy access. Again, S through XL, since those are the more popular sizes. I did put some of the shopping bags so I don't forget. I don't really, this is more so for storage. Keychains, foam grips, miscellaneous items, stickers, since they're usually the go-to for most of the time. Bags, sweaters, and then display items. And then everything else is just under the table. Hi, Ivy. Hello. So cute. In the mirror. Ah. <laughs> Some info about this event. This is the pricing for an artist alley table. It does come with an eight foot table two chairs. Parking, for some reason, I think it's more expensive than when Anime Expo is here. I believe parking is $30 per day, which is quite a lot for a convention and from what I'm used to. I usually park in the same South Hall parking lot where I usually park when Anime Expo is here. Personally, while I did do decently okay at this event, I don't think I would apply for this next year. I know they are moving it to October, and I believe before 2020, it was occurring around October and it's just after 2020, they had it in December for the past two years and then they're just moving it back. Good morning, it is day three and it is 8.40 in the morning. I am really out of it. I think, I don't know if I just got burnt out or because it's the last event of the year, 
I've been very kind of like in and out mentally. I think I've been dissociating for a good several hours each day. Now that I've had time to basically look at the numbers from the past couple days, to be honest, this event is not too bad. I think I've just been very emotional and because it is technically a big event for convention standards, I think subconsciously, even though consciously, I do know that most of these people are not here for anime censored items. I think subconsciously I expected more, even though, again, I do remind myself they're not here for anime stuff. So obviously the sales aren't going to translate in that way. But I think because there has been some demand with some of the Ida bags and the crewnecks, which obviously are not specific to anime, or well, it is kawaii, I guess. But since they're not specific to anime and it does attract a more general audience in a way, we did get a few sales of that. I think we sold out of the brown sweaters in medium and we did sell out of the black classic Ida bags, which was great. And even some items, like I sold out of the Snorlax greeting cards, some of the pins, can't remember which ones. But overall, numbers are really not that bad, especially for a three-day event. And then assuming that I make a little bit less today, Sunday versus yesterday, it would line up with last year's numbers. So again, overall, it's not too bad. I think I just, I don't know if it's because it's December and I I just really need a break. I, I kind of feel like I don't really want to do this event again next year, just so I can take a break. It's not anything against the event. I think I just want to specifically focus on anime conventions and prioritize my rest and productivity because Again, when I am doing these events, I am not able to focus on a lot of Molokana stuff because I am busy vending and selling in person, which also takes a lot of energy because while I am an ambivert, I would say that I'm more of an extroverted introvert, so it still takes a lot of energy in that way, and that energy could have been used and spent on developing my work. I really did enjoy my time here at LACC. I just think it's not personally for me, so I might not be applying next year. I feel that if you do have, as I've mentioned in my last year's LA Comic Con vlog, if you have a lot of Western style or Western pop culture oriented products like Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Cartoon Network slash Nickelodeon type of work, you might want to consider this event, especially since Artist Alley tables are 8 feet and this is one of the more major Western pop culture conventions besides obviously like SDCC. Like that one's pretty crazy and that one's already difficult to get in, but this one is slightly a little bit more manageable. So it might be an event you want to consider. Hi, I know you're United on YouTube. What? Oh, it's okay. We're in here together. Hello, so as you know, this event ends at 5. It's 2.55 p.m. And it's pretty dead, at least for a convention of this size. And somehow when I was looking at the reports on Square, my numbers are actually worse than Friday. And Friday is technically a half day. I think overall, even with this year, it's just much slower than last year. I had a friend suggest that possibly it's because Simu Liu basically pulled everyone last year and this year. There's not a lot of sales going on this. Even from what I remember and looking at past footage, there were much bigger crowds last year than this year. I did end up going to the anime section where the entertainment hall is and it's on the other side. They do have some vendors there as well as some giant like a giant Pikachu and a giant Totoro. They're just, it feels pretty empty from what I would expect for that haul. And they also have kind of like anime Pasadena impulse. They do have some anime voice actors and their lines were really short, especially the bigger name ones. And I think I went around 2 p.m. and for Mikasa's voice actor, she didn't have a line, surprisingly. I don't know if she just finished or she was just there. I mean, she seemed like she was just chilling, but like she pretty much did not have a line in front of her versus when I saw her at Anime Pasadena last year, her line was super long, took forever. And same thing with Aaron's voice actor. He did have a line, but there were probably 10, 12 people in there. This is assuming they didn't cap it. And I don't think they did because it was only 2 p.m. and the event ends at 5. Money-wise, again, I, because I am local and my costs are pretty low, I broke even by Friday. 
so the rest of it is just profit but again personally i don't see myself doing this event again just because i would much rather prioritize working on new product designs or even just catch up on orders since this event is nearly ending i'm just gonna end it here thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video found it helpful would you do la comic con would you consider just attending or would you sell in their rs alley or exhibitors if you want to see my previous event where it's not a anime specific event do watch this video and you can see how different it is compared to this event and i'll see y'all in the next video bye